my secretary rang and said, Mr. Lyon, there's a very beautiful young girl here to see you, but she doesn't have an appointment. I said, well, Mary, you don't have to have an appointment to see me. Send her in. So a moment later, in walked the most gorgeous young girl you've ever seen in your life, this golden hair, beautiful little print dress, and uh, 22 years old. And I said, sit down. So she sat by the desk, and I began asking various questions, what she'd done. She told me a little extra work and a bit here and there. And I said, what's your ambition? She said, to be a film star. And I looked at her and I said, well, honey, you're in pictures and I think you will be a film star. I said, uh, I don't think you can use the name Norma Jean Doherty if you're going to be a star. We've got to change your name. By the contract, we have a right to change the name. So she agreed and we looked in the book and thought of all kinds of combinations of names. Nothing suited us. And finally, I remembered a girl I knew in New York, a stage star by the name of Marilyn Miller. And I said, to me, you're a Marilyn. And she said, that's a lovely name. I said, all right, that's your first name. We couldn't find a second name, but she suddenly turned to me and said, Mr. Lyon, could I use my grandmother's name? I said, what was that? I said, Monroe, Marilyn Monroe. And she would take dramatic lessons for three hours. She'd have lunch. After lunch, she would take dancing lessons for an hour, singing lessons for an hour, fencing lessons for an hour, and then go on the back lot and ride horseback. And I said to her one day, Marilyn, why do you work so hard? The other kids that are under contract, I call sometimes at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. They're still sleeping from being out the night before. She said, well, Mr. Lyon, she said, I work hard because one day maybe opportunity will knock and I want to be prepared.